On today's episode, I head to a remote Welsh town to explore and investigate a haunted property with a dark and sinister history. The mill, built in 1860, sits on the outskirts of the town with a river running alongside it. Locals say the mill is haunted by a past owner who died here. She is seen standing at a window in a full white dress and heard sobbing at night. People also report hearing babies' cries ringing out from the property. Some have even seen children paddling in the nearby river wearing Victorian clothes and when approached said to have ran straight into the mill, never to be seen again. A neighbour even reported a disturbance to the police thinking vandals were inside. When the police arrived, the property was completely empty. Join me as I take a look inside this supposedly haunted abandoned mill and see what and who remain trapped inside. Okay Explorer, so we are inside the mill now, we're going to check this place out before we investigate it. This place is absolutely amazing, one of my favourite locations. Came here about a year ago and it's a place I've always wanted to come back and investigate because it ultimate vibes, everything's left behind in this place. It is a complete time capsule, frozen in time for what feels like hundreds of years. Absolutely everything's in this place, amazing. So straight away you can literally see all the equipment still left inside here, we've even got wool and fabric still on the machinery here it's absolute time capsule like I said all the equipment's left there's even these like old renaissance type pictures here look at this a little girl with some flowers big uh, elk at the top there like why is this here and why is it so creepy it has no business looking that creepy in here even more of these renaissance paintings someone's actually ripped the face off this one look at that but i wonder what these were here for originally maybe they were made here but like i said most of this equipment oh, as i was saying it a lot of the equipment still does turn and work in here see all the fabrics just covered in dust and debris on the floor you know what it's like you know the start of like any horror film where you see people go and investigate an old place it is exactly like that you can see the old imprints from where the people were from patent cement brothers halt i can't make it out can't make it out but absolutely incredible to see it all here still wow even the old wooden crates st still filled with nuts and bolts from decades if not 100 years ago is that the top of that painting oh my god how freaky is that just this little sad kid looking at me wow but like I said, all the fabrics still on the machinery here. It is a vibe in this place. Like I was saying, it does just have that horror feel. Like you'd see on a movie. I feel like somebody's hid behind one of these pieces of machinery now. Gonna jump out on me. Absolutely insane to see it. Still quite intact as well. You can hear the river going along there is one of those wheel water wheel turning things look at this from the old horse and carts still sat here oh it's heavy old heaters like i say in the old wooden crates midlands it's so weathered that you can't really make out the names but they kind of remind me of like old dynamite boxes if that makes sense no idea 
but it's kind of cool to see where people worked because we spend so much time seeing where people lived it's kind of cool to see where they worked like I said you have to watch your head in a lot of these parts of the building I have been here a while ago it does open up upstairs so I'm looking forward to getting up there and look at this absolutely huge bit of kit I'm guessing these all turned I'm guessing they were quite loud as well it was quite loud in here old desk but what's strange we still have Bibles there is still Bibles in here instructions General Electric is there a year on this do you reckon I can't see but look how old that is there isn't actually a year on there which is a shame but check out the old fabrics old bottles the General Electrical Company no idea it's from Whitton Birmingham though quite cold in here and it does have that abandoned smell like dusty musky sort of smell if anyone does know what these are be absolutely amazing to let me know in the comments what this bit of kit is Longwood near Huddersfield Life and Co pattern amazing it's so cool like I say and this is like a pure frozen in time location before churning The, I can't even read these diaphragm oh, I can't even smell diaphragm churn like I was saying though absolutely love this location just for what's here as I said it's quite cramped down the stairs but you head up some tiny little stairs and it does open up which is where we are going to spend most of the time investigating oh look squeezing through these little gaps and you can see how old the building is big thick stone walls all overgrown outside look how narrow these stairs are and steep so we're gonna try and head up here anyway they are rally and a bit dodgy I'm actually stuck with my bag oh guys they don't feel the safest I'm not gonna lie I am a big guy I shouldn't really be on these fragile floors but you can even see the old safety gate still attached and we have some seat in here but like I was saying look the machinery does still turn and work paranormal equipment big wicker cases and look more of these pictures that girl is creepy as looks like somebody's cut a section out of that like with scissors it's quite square but more machinery up here the old bottles so I'm guessing they would have just thrown all the fabric into these look like bananas look at that I don't want to scram that though Whew. tough those stairs especially when you've not been well for a while but how cool is this As I was saying, like more fabrics just still sat on the machinery. Even that still turns, even though it's rusted to death. Amazing though to see Look at these old tin Mackenzie's butter milk from Edinburgh. Everything's got such an age to it here, and it is a vibe. I'm not gonna lie. I am quite on edge. I mean, look, why is that chair just sat in the middle of the floor there? It's very, very weird. Newspapers just hanging over the side there. Oh, got to be careful, there's holes in the floor. If you can see that there. But this is incredible. More chairs, obviously, where people would have sat and worked away. This actually turns a belt that goes up the top there. 
which goes all the way along this floor. See the debris and dust on the floor that people haven't been here for so long. What are we saying so far though guys? It does have that creepiness to it. Like I said, we don't normally investigate places like this, but that old lemonade, not even open, but it's just disappeared. It's been here that long. Like a mill is not something that we'd normally check out. We do normally have mansions, houses, things like that on the channel. But I came here to take photos, like I said, about a year ago, and I just fell in love with this place. Like, the vibes just the aesthetic amazing like completely frozen in time like i like to see how people lived back in the day but to see where they worked as well because they would have spent a large majority of their time and life here as well it's incredible can't wait to investigate something different as well instead of the same old every week you know everything's just full there is some old machinery there i'm a bit dubious of walking on these old floors because we are on the second floor now that's like an old uh, sewing machine stand is that like an old sewing machine oh it doesn't work see the belts and that spares there is something upstairs that really piqued my interest as well at this place that i think you're gonna really find extra creepy but to just get a pan of this room, look at it. It's, it's quite a big room. And as I said, it opens out a lot more. We have a chest here though. Marx, Lennon and Stalin. Isn't that a strange book to have here? A Marxist book. Commies. I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, Welsh. India. Literally just says India on it. All these books are in Welsh though. Just trying to work out what they are, but absolutely no idea until I can Google it. But strange to have a book of Stalin here, but just cool to see hidden away in that chest. There's little gaps in the floor as well, I have to be careful of. That chair's pretty freaky. But there is an office up there that we need to check out. So we're going to head up there now and hmm, I thought I heard something. Maybe it's just the old floorboards. Oh, my knob's stuck on there. And just see the craziest part of this for some reason. Right, look at this floor. And that's rattling already. Look, that's the support beam. This and that has just gone straight down the support beam water as you can see the stairs are not actually attached on one side so I am literally walking up one side of the stairs which could collapse at any given second but there's no way I'm not showing you this check that an old cot just sat in the middle of an office upstairs how creepy is that? And we have writing on the beams. William and Davis. James Reese. David Tuckold. David Lloyd Davis. And James McGinn. McGunn. Talabon. Like how long has this graffiti been here? Wow. But why is that cot just sat there? How freaky is that? Oh, I'm gonna die up here. Like, what the hell, guys? Obviously, somebody must have brought their child to work, the manager of this place. But how amazing. An old Victorian cot. Can't even talk. It is so dodgy up here. The big wicker cases. You can see his desk over there. And there's a lot of alcohol bottles up here. Check this. God knows how long they've been here. But weird to see a cot and alcohol in your office. Times have changed. 
hole in the floor there but he obviously sat up here here's his desk books on the desk here and looked out watched everyone working like a bit of a headmaster a bit of a miserable sod maybe and there is another upstairs over there but there is no stairs anymore so there's just no way of getting up there how crazy is this place though guys it is absolute vibes like i was saying it is quite derelict it is probably shouldn't be in here especially on my own like this place can just collapse at any minute there's holes in the roof the front stairs are falling apart man it's crazy so i feel like we should head down maybe go onto that middle floor just where it's a bit safer and do a little investigation see if anyone does still remain here i feel like they do Okay, Explorers, so I've set up a couple of cat balls on the equipment. One just went off over there. Rampad's going off. Oh my God, not even started yet. Literally not even started. We've had a cat ball go off and the Rampod. Going to do Spirit Talker, going to shout out, see if we can get any answers and see what happens. It's looking good so far though. So if there's any spirits in this room, maybe somebody trapped in this mill still can you speak to me through this device in my hand or can you set off one of the devices that i've placed on the equipment we have the small balls which you can touch they will light up let me know whereabouts you are in the room and we also have the REM pod that will set off an alarm it'll make a noise it'll flash and it'll... i'm not playing i'm not playing you don't have to play it's literally just to let me know if somebody's still here. I'm not playing straight away. Is there anything you can do? Can you move an object? Can you make any knocks, bangs? It's quite difficult to hear any noises with the river going, but straight away, I'm not playing. So you've just set that device off over there. Can you do that again for me? If you grab hold of the aerial, like it will change colours. Green, yellow, blue, purple, depends how close you get. You can speak to this device. And as I said, there is balls that will light up all around me. Guys, cat ball. Thank you for doing that. See, maybe if I go over here a bit, this one's gone off twice now. I'm gonna head towards where the activity is. So is there anybody still over here in this part of the room? Edith. Edith. Guys. I can hear walking about. Obviously I know it's an old building. I know things are gonna build in building creek they're gonna be disturbed with me coming in here after such a long time but i am looking for something more i am looking for something more <laughs> so if it's edith that's still here did you work here were you the owner of this place if I get any of these right, can you set off a piece of equipment to let me know? It would make sense with a, a woman running this place. Obviously they didn't have childcare back then, so she would have had to have brought a child to work. Hence the cot upstairs. That must have been tough. Bobby. Bobby. Is Bobby the child's name? Is Bobby the baby that came here? Would make sense. Bobby's quite a a nickname that you'd give like a young child, Robert. So if it's Edith, maybe even Bobby, or if anybody else that still resides here, still occupies this place, it'd be absolutely amazing. Come back again. Yes, I have been here before. Do you remember me from last time? I was with a couple of people last time. I'm on my own today. Do you mind that I've come back? 
Guys, these are the answers. Really relevant. Really good answers so far. I know you don't want to play games, you don't want to mess around. Maybe she was quite a stern, strict woman who ran this place. Can you touch one of the equipment? Some of the equipment? Where the balls are? They won't harm you in any way. They're literally just indicators to let me know that you're here. Do you mind me coming here? I love this. What do you love? That somebody's come? That somebody's here finally? I suspect you've been here a long time. Been alone here for a long time as well. Is that true? Equipment's gone pe pretty quiet. I did have a K2 wherever that's gone. There's a device in my hand called a K2. You can touch that up. Dad. Zap. Okay, too. It's just died. Dance. Dance. Is that Edith? Just as I was about to walk there. I was literally about to walk here. That's not me, I'm too far away. It went to yellow then as well. Wow, that is great. Thank you for doing that. I've literally just come over. Because I usually have two K2s. But I don't have two anymore. That's gone to yellow. Wow. Is that you manipulating that device? Can you tell me your name? Guys. Pregnant. That's on yellow now. Were you pregnant when you worked here? Were you pregnant when you passed away? That would have been heavy. I can hear footsteps coming from downstairs. Maybe I do need to head down there and check it out a little bit. But I feel like we're getting good results up here. Go over there. I'm assuming you mean over here. Can you set one of these devices off if I'm correct? Is that right? Or over there? You'd be more specific for me, please. I'm just going to head over here and see if that's what they meant. We can always go back the other way. Is this what you mean? Can it crows outside? That was a good sign last time. Spectre. Spectre. Right. Guys, I think it means over there. Katie's uh Run pod's going off as I was about to head over there again. Do you mean over here then? Wow. That is just... Definitely means over here, doesn't it? I thank you for showing me. Can you stop that now? Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell me if you were pregnant? When you passed? Is that what happened? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Was the baby called Bobby? Sell that off if I'm right in any way. This is actually incredible responses. 
the equipment as well telling me to come over here and as I come over here the bloody ram pod goes off activity activity if you can do any more activity if you can guys guys I suppose this place has been still and abandoned for so long that maybe with us being the first people in here investigating this place we're going to get some good results like I have been told that before that because I come into places that have never been investigated before guys it's wild pit it's messing me about I go over there it stops can you tell me the name of who's doing this <gasps> Straight away. Straight away. Wow. Just got shivers. Literal shivers. So is Anna the person that was pregnant? I can just see the cot. Just in the background there. Pretty freaky to be fair. That was strange. I just heard what f sounded like hoof footprints. Pretty freaky to be fair. Footsteps. But I know for a fact, I know for a fact, there's no horses out there. That's just a river. But it was like hoof steps. Clop, clop, clop. That's strange. Maybe a bit of residual there. What the? F it's a bad idea. What's a bad idea? I just heard something. Almost like whistling. Just try that out. That's all it'll take to set that off. Maybe they don't want to come so far close to me. Maybe they don't want to come too close to me. Because they're literally touching the two devices that are furthest away from me. So we've got I'm not playing Edith. Edith Moore. And then we've got Chief. Chief, Bobby, come back again, I love this, dance, pregnant, go over there, and then when I went over there, the bloody REM pod went off, Spectre, Activity, Anna, just when I said, can you tell me your name, Anna, straight away, it's a bad idea, Harold, and then Chief, Chief's a bit random, isn't it? Do you mean manager? Owner? Just trying to think of like chief. Bit of an authority figure, isn't it? But some of the answers on here are absolutely amazing. Little girl sings. Oh, we heard the whistle. I thought it was like a whistle. Maybe it was a singing. But I'm hearing footsteps. I'm not sure if it's maybe the stairs. Is it coming from the office? Because it's so open, it could be literally coming from anywhere. That's weird. Don't antagonise. Don't antagonise. I don't mean to antagonise at all. I just slightly turn... Just heard, like, singing again. I just slightly turn... I just slightly turned my head and it was almost like sunbeams coming through so I looked back, double take, nothing there but I'm hearing these footsteps quite a lot now 
Can you tell me how long you've been here? Has it been a long time? Castle. 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 I don't know what that has to do with anything. Castle, though. Right, I'm going to ask one more time. I haven't even asked. I haven't even asked yet. I was going to say, can you touch this device? Can you get it to go to yellow for me? <gasps> no way. Come on, all the way to yellow for me, please. Get a bit closer to it for me. Caught. Caught. Can you set that off one more time? I don't want to get too close so it's not picking me up at all. Be amazing if you could do that for me though. Just get it to go to yellow one time. I need to keep an eye on the cat balls over there as well. I am trying to stay near what <gasps> River! There's literally a river outside. I am trying to be near the activity as much as possible. Can you set that off? Get it to go to yellow. I'll go close to it, but I can't go too close, otherwise we're going to get confused. I need you to do it for me. Is that possible? Please and thank you. Hmm. Yellow. Yellow only. Red. I said red by accident then and then the red light came on. This was my home. This was my home. I suppose for a lot of people, work did feel like home if you were there for so so often. Like I know it's felt like that for me before. I used to do like 15, 16 hour shifts and it did feel like home, away from home. Maybe that's how they felt about this place, especially if it was their own mill and they built the place, you know? It does feel like your home, doesn't it? Especially with the cot up there as well. Can you tell me what this place looks like to you? Are you seeing it the way I'm seeing it, old and derelict? Or are you seeing it the way you originally seen it? New and working and pristine. What's your name? What's my name? Literally, I haven't even said my name. My name's Adam. I'm sorry I forgot to introduce myself. I've been asking you all these questions about who you are. And I haven't even told you who I am. My name's Adam. I literally go around trying to speak to people that are no longer around I'm not lying here I feel like I've just seen something duck behind that that little bit there it looked like something duck behind that I don't even know what you'd call it sack that's in in there. Hello? Paddy. Paddy's an old name, isn't it? Maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. I am trying to be so delicate on this floor as well, because I don't want to set the cat balls off. I haven't done it so far, so that's good. What's your name? I can't believe I forgot to introduce myself. Can I just ask you one favour? And can you just set one of these cat balls off for me. I appreciate you interacting with me. I appreciate that you've come forward to speak to me and touch the equipment that you have touched. Thank you for doing that. I'm going to get another piece of equipment out now that you can speak to. I don't know how good it's going to be with the river, but the EVP. I shouldn't be dead. I shouldn't be dead. No, I suppose we'd all feel like that, really. What am I hearing? The battery. The battery. Battery on the K2. 
I just heard like chimes. I'm hearing so many strange noises. I'm hearing a lot of, I don't want to say footsteps because it's an old building. But to be fair, I'm not making many footsteps. So I don't know why I'm hearing bumps and bangs because I'm not making any. Yeah, let's get that other piece of equipment out. Hopefully, I think we'll go downstairs and see if we can get any more of these noises, maybe catch them on tape. That'd be interesting. Okay guys, so we're on the ground floor where we heard knocks, bangs, footsteps even from before. Just gonna do a few shout outs, see if we can get any responses. Hopefully we can, hopefully we'll pick up some voices or just some movement and we'll be able to capture it as evidence. So if there's anyone down here with me now, maybe one of the spirits I spoke to earlier, can you make a knock or bang? Can you say your name? I just heard a knock as I said that. Can you tell me who, who just made that noise and can you do it again? Can you tell me who, who just made that noise and can you do it again? Can you tell me how long you've been here? Can you tell me why you're still here? Right, try that out. Definitely heard something on the first question there. Okay, so a little bit of movement, definitely picked up that knock. I'm just gonna ask maybe a bit more personal questions, see if we get anything there. So we've got the name Edith and the word pregnant. Can you tell me, did you pass away whilst you were pregnant? We got, I shouldn't have died. Can you tell me how you passed away? The cot upstairs, does that belong to Bobby? And I believe I've seen someone duck down behind a basket. Was that Bobby? Tell me how you passed away. I give that a try, see if we get anything with a bit more personal. So we've got the name Edith and the word pregnant. Can you tell me, did you pass away whilst you were pregnant? It almost sounded like I got a yes when I said Edith before I said the second part there. Or 
almost an answer there not really sure I'll have to listen back again but it sounded something like a voice there That's a bit. Was that Bobby? Is it? Tell me how you passed away. Could be a bird. Hello? I just heard movement. Hello? Hmm, I thought I heard movement. Strange. Like I said, it's an old ass building. We are going to get some noises, but that was sounded quite like it had a purpose. Okay guys, so we're going to walk through, we're going to take some Polaroids, we're going to have the Necrometer playing in the background, hopefully we'll pick up some words, hopefully we can pick up some spirits, some entities, spectres, as the device said earlier. So, quick walk through, see what we can get, and then hopefully we're going to end it upstairs in the office and do a spirit box up there, it sounds good to me, so let's do this guys. Gonna turn this on, gonna keep it in the pocket, listen out for it. Awareness. Straight away, awareness. Are you aware that I'm here? I feel like this is a good place to take Polaroids as it did say Spectre. So if we've got Edith here, can you tell me how long you've been here? Can you tell? Hunter. Hunter. Paranormal, undetected, hey. cold, oh my god, these answers are flying through. Don't usually get that much activity that quick. That has come through thick and fast. Hunter, cold, we will, we will go through it when we are upstairs, preferably in the office area. Wow, these answers are coming through so quick. Oh, what? Fortune. Wow. Cold, no hope, we hate it. Right, fortune. Sounds like they're pretty angry. I am here. I am here. Well, if you could show yourself, preferably on these pictures, that would be absolutely amazing. Incorrect. Incorrect. I don't have enough hands, guys, but we do what we can, eh? Oh, I've got to head up these stairs now, and this guy is, whoever's talking here, I don't think I've ever had this many answers come through at once. So they are a chatty cafe. When we get, wow, one after another. Just pop that down for a sec, and we'll just review what's been said so far. Executed. Wow, I am here, see me, camera, incorrect, you are not, you are not wrong, 10 o'clock, executed. Whew. Right, this is a good, a good floor. But to have this many answers come through so quickly, it's quite rare. Usually you get one or two every few minutes. This is rapid fire. Oh my god, I don't have enough hands, guys. I need a team. I need a team to come uh, investigate these places with me. Something very ominous about this chair. Wow. Such vibes here. Absolutely loving it so far. And we did get quite a few um, bits of activity on the equipment. So I'm going to try my best uncertain i'm gonna try my best they're on a mad one whoever's uh, talking here Shut up. gonna try my best to get a full frame of this room and just hopefully pick something up but as i said it's difficult we've only got two hands 
What's this guy going on about here? Juggernauts. Messages. Messages. Uncertain. Dylan. That is literally how many answers we've got from this end of the room to where we are now. That is crazy. But I definitely feel like this is a good room. But I do want to end it in the office where the cot is. Haunted got a doll. Haunted doll. There is a few pictures of young children around. <sighs> Guys, hopefully we'll get some good responses upstairs. We'll check these Polaroids out in the office. But I'm gonna have to be so careful on these stairs because literally the support beam <sighs> went flying earlier on. Right, here we go. Let's put this away for a sec. Oh my God, it's so sketchy. I literally, this, this could just go. This one's already gone. This could just go at any second. Especially with me on here now. No hands, oh my, oh my days, that was ridiculous. I shouldn't be doing this, guys. Okay, okay, that'll develop. Oh, the floor, man. Jesus, I'm actually terrified. Drink. Drink, yeah. Just not, just walked past the alcohol and it said drink. So, let's just review. Oh my God, so much stuff. Drink, straight, haunted doll, messages, juggernauts, uncertain, Dylan, executed. I mean, take your pick. What you wanna answer first. But we are gonna review these Polaroids, wait for them to develop and see if we've got anything. Okay, so whilst we are waiting for that, I've just got press it they mean you harm we are literally just waiting for these to develop properly you can just see the cock coming through there so while we wait can you tell me they've had that twice can you tell me who means me harm can you tell me their name guys that's, that's clear as fuck that was so clear bang bang is that you that I can hear walking around Uncertain. 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 Okay, so this was the first picture we take. Take? Taken. And look at these little anomalies. Look. A bright light. Bright lights. I think that's the window. But what are these around here? Look. Holy. Holy. That's eyes. That is literally eyes. Let me pop that down. Wow, that looks like two eyes. That is weird. And again, look, look at these lights. Little light anomalies. There's none in this one. Not likely. Not likely. Here, look, that's where the um, desk is downstairs. Look at this, a little light, but they're really present here. There's the little girl picture. There's no light there. How strange is that, the difference? And here's the chair in the middle of this room, look. The light above the chair there. And then we have one, two, three lights above this cot. But one, two, three, light orb like above it. So one, two, three, four. That's a window, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strange light anomalies across seven pictures. Guys, obviously you've got the windows, but what are those little specks of light around them? Pretty much like orbs. Very strange, and they are a hundred percent eyes. It's so hard to show you. Focus, focus. I'll try and get a good picture of it. They are eyes. Okay, explorers. We're going to end this tour 
this investigation up in the office next to the car. I have the music box facing down onto the stairs there. So if anything crosses that threshold, as we've seen before, it will set that off and it will set a tune off. I'm hoping we get some results. Those eyes on the picture have really thrown me off. So just catch your breath and let's do it. So if there's any spirits on this top level in this office with me, speak to me through this device. Set that music box off on the crate. Can you do that now for me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me why you're still here? Why are you trapped here? Were you pregnant when you passed away? Can you tell me how many spirits are still here? How many people are still here? What does this place look like to you now? Is it in good condition? Is it derelict? Does it still feel like home? I have a device on the other side of this cot. If you walk in front of that device, it'll make a nice tune. Can you do that for me? Watch me. Is there any bad people here? One. Why are they here? Who was the person I seen ducking down behind the crate? Wow, that voice twice after I've asked if there's a bad person here. How long has the bad person been here? Were they bad before they passed away? Who is this cot? Who does this cot belong to? How crazy is that? Guys. 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 Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't run out. I have to be well careful. But guys, what an absolutely amazing location. Lots of activity, uh, the equipment going off, the voices coming through. Absolutely relevant answers with the spirit talker. It's been pretty good investigation. I'm quite happy with it. I do believe that there is something here. It said one bad spirit as well. I'm not sure who that is. I'm not 100%. But guys, if you've enjoyed this, plenty more to come. Lots of haunted, abandoned places. <sighs> I need to get out of here. It's getting a bit freaky. The atmosphere seems to have changed. It's gone a lot colder. But guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. I am directly onto the next one now. And I hope you see you there next week. Let's go.